in this tutorial I want to talk about just editing your own S uh, Anabits or SVG files. Now you can create Anabits from any SVG file. So if you own SVG files from another collection that you've purchased, you'll, I'll show you how you can create your own Anabits. Basically pieces for animation inside of Easy Animator or other programs as well. So here I am at Gravit.io. Now if you have Illustrator, I absolutely recommend it. Um, Inkscape is another option. I like Gravit.io because it's an online option where you don't have to worry about if it's PC or Mac. So I'm here on the page and I've already logged in. You'll need to do that. You'll need to create an account. Um, don't worry, they don't email you very much at all. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cre create design. And what I like to do is uh, you can put your own option up here. I can do 1280 by 720 if I want to you know size something that's about the size of a video presentation for example or I can come down here I like presentation sometimes I choose that but once I'm ready I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom design and now I have a stage size that's gonna match my video size so now I'm gonna go ahead and I, you want to be careful because insert uh, I feel for this a while for a while in, this is for more bitmap images, so you can insert a, a photographic image of some kind. But over here, you want to do the uh, file import and then uh, SVG, or scalable vector graphics, that is. So um, you can go to the whole directories. Now, you can go into the uh, bits that we've already created if you want. Maybe the colors weren't the way you wanted them or something like that. But if uh, you're happy with what we've uh, provided, or, or you want to, I'm sorry, if you're not happy and you want to make your own, maybe split things up differently or change the colors, uh, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll select one of these and open it. Now, one of the first things to point out here is that um, things are kind of grouped a little bit already. I can come over here to this Layers tab and see a little bit, like I can see the logo and its pieces, and you can see that it's grouped. Now, you can ungroup things. If you want, you can come over here to, let's say, uh, and it say split. And you might need to do it a couple of times. You can see that it started to split things into different pieces. So now if I want to color this, so for example, you see it's got that green. I just double clicked on it and I can see the color and I can go ahead and change that if I want to. And, you know, this might be what I'm really looking for uh, to do. Uh, mainly and you know color this now I'm gonna uh, I won't uh, waste your time doing all of it but so you can see there that and now that I've done that I can come over here to this and what I'm trying to do is click on this little down arrow I just kept on missing it and uh, you can see that there's groups here that I can turn off the visibility so one thing I could do is I could separate this bag from the um, the logo and then what I can do is go ahead and do download as and then save this. So now I can save a piece. So this would be a bit if I save this. So if I, uh, and I, you know, it does do untitled. I, I, I haven't figured out how to change it, but I just go in and change it after I download it. And then I can go here and I can uh, turn, make that visible and I can make these invisible and um, and then go ahead and export with just the, the logo there and have that as a separate bit. And then I have, I basically have two pieces. I can make more if I want to. I can you know do each arrow separately or whatever uh, and make my own bits that way. So you can do that with just about any image. Just remember that the ungroup is really called the split over here. And your layering is over here and you can color by double clicking on an object until you see the, the fill options here. And there's a ton more options. I don't want to go into too much detail, but uh, you can check that out and do so much with Gravit.io that you could do with the professional programs like Adobe Illustrator.